It is 6 a.m. and we are heading south to San Diego, actually Santee, because we have another appointment with Agile Off-Road for an exciting upgrade. For those of you who have been following us for a while, you know they've done a number of upgrades. The ride improvement package, they've done an air compressor, of course new tires, beefier tires, twice. They did a rear tire carrier, probably something else I've left off. But this time, they're gonna do brakes. We're gonna get the big ass brakes that they do because I'm tired of being scared when we're going down these <gasps> horrible angles like we did in Canada. So uh, let's get going. First stop is yeah. Everything you could possibly put on a van. Yeah. You stick them up and they go like this mm -hmm. and then they find their... Meet John Brindell. He's one of three co-owners of Agile Off-Road. John did off-road racing for years, then transitioned to Fox, which makes suspension for motorcycles, cars, and trucks, and then was convinced by a friend in 2016 to join him in improving suspensions on Ford and Sprinter vans. Thus was born Agile Off-Road. At the time, vans were just taking off, and the demand for better suspension was growing. Along with better suspensions came requests for things like bigger fuel tanks, better armor, hidden winches, tire carriers, ladders, storage, air compressors, lockers, brakes, tires, fenders, diff covers, bumpers, and more. In 2018, Agile moved to their current location and then expanded in 2022. This is our fourth trip to Agile for upgrades, but this time we're here for their big brake kit. Agile worked with Alcon in the UK to make a sprinter-specific brake. It has six pistons in front and four in the rear, as opposed to the stock brakes, with four in the front and two in the rear. It's a significant upgrade and includes an improved offset of 16 millimeters so you don't have to use wheel spacers. Studs come from a factory in Italy. Agile also offers a new front brake primarily used on vehicles with an electronic emergency brake in the rear. This is Reed. He's worked here for four years and he's going to be doing the brakes on our van. Before we left on our summer cross-country trip, Agile installed new tires. They noticed that one of our original Bilstein struts was leaking. They didn't have any in stock, but offered to ship a pair to us so we could have it installed back home. Unfortunately, the mechanic who did the install did one of them incorrectly. So on this trip, we mentioned to John a strange boing sound we were getting from the front left wheel. The agile mechanic was able to identify the problem immediately and fix it for us. This big bushing should be underneath, and it was sitting facing up like this. One of the little collars had popped out. So it was really only riding on three instead of four. So I'm glad we caught it. I'm glad you guys noticed that there was something fishy going on there. But that was 100% the wrong direction. So we're going to put it back the right direction. I already talked to John. We're not going to charge you guys for any of this. We're, we want it to be right. These are the front calipers. Okay. And these are six piston calipers. So if you look right behind there, you can see there's three pistons right. on that side and three pistons on this side. Okay. Those are the fronts? These are fronts, and then these are the rear, rear calipers. They are a four. They're a four piston design. So if you take a look, right behind there, you can see two on that side mm -hmm. and two on this side. Cool. What are these called? Rotors, those are your rear rotors. What are these? Those are the mounts for the front calipers for these guys. They're in such a different shape. 
I mean, you know, I mean, this one has the notches in it. Wow. Interesting. Eleven and a half and thirteen inch. Oh, it is. Decent decently taller. So the rear is bigger, even though the caliper is smaller. Yep. So that that gets replaced and of course the caliper. Right there you'll see a it says rotation with the arrow you just want to make sure that's the right direction it's so that the venting will functions properly as you're going forward oh. Agile is constantly coming up with products so based on customer that's needs, the like auxiliary fuel tanks. A oh, bit I further. see. Does it completely so. replace the yeah. the other tank? Just completely replace the factory. Tank. Oh, okay. I'd like to ask you though about uh -huh. is um, the brake because you, you it's a proprietary yeah. to you yeah. and Alcon. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. So Alcon Alcon makes it specifically for Agile off road. And what we did is we work with them on the application. So they're the brake specialists and then they came to us and we talked about it and they go, well, what are you guys using, the, what, what are you using these on? And so we helped them design the brake around a modified sprinter. So a stock sprinter, they don't fit like because they don't fit 16 inch wheels. And part of it was we needed to put in that 16 millimeter offset built into the hat. And that enabled us to use what we need to space it out for the rip kit built into the brake system. Oh, so see. it's really, really nice. And it actually makes it fit better on all the applications. Yeah. So. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah.